What is happening guys? Coming back at you with the nerd video. In this video, I'm going to be doing the San Diego Comic Con Funko Pop Challenge. So let's get to it. Before I get started, if you happen to like movies, trailer reactions, Funko, subscription boxes, and collectibles, then hit that subscribe button now, cause I have all that on my channel. Don't forget to turn the bell icon on so you know when I post another video. So this challenge was started by Droobs Vids and the Whatnot Spot. They both have channels on YouTube. So the basic outline for this challenge is, you pick three of your top favorites San Diego Comic Con Funko Pops that are in your collection. And then the final one you pick is the one that you regret passing up on. So I decided to do this challenge because it seemed like a lot of fun. So let me get ahead and get on to my picks. Now the pick for number three was actually the hardest one for me. The picks for number one and two were actually pretty easy. But number three was the hardest because it actually was between... It's actually between three of them that I was actually decided on. Three different ones that I actually do like. So this was really hard. And I really actually couldn't choose between one of them. So I actually narrowed it down to just the two picks. So this is really two of them that I chose for number three. And it is the Joker Batman from Suicide Squad. And the Doctor Strange. Now this one's from 2017, last year's Comic Con. And this one's the 2016 one. And I really like both of these ones. I like this Joker Batman. I like the purple and the purple cape he has on him too. I like the little like details that they have on him. Like you have Joker like right there across his bat. The bat signal right there on his chest. You got the little ha-has right there on his leg. You got some more ha-has right there on the bottom of his other leg. And I like the belt, the utility belt that they have right there. You can see right there on the utility belt, they actually got some some of the card shapes on there. You know, like the spades, the heart, the diamond, and the club. But I really do like this pop. This was one of the ones, my top ones from last year's San Diego Comic Con. So it was one I definitely had to get. Now on this Doctor Strange, I recently started liking this one. And it was mainly because of Infinity War. I really like Doctor Strange and Infinity War. And then... This pop I actually didn't get when it first came out at San Diego Comic Con 2016. I actually got it like a, probably about two or three months after the Doctor Strange movie came out. So I didn't get this one right away, but like I have actually grown to like it. What I like about this is like the pose that he's in. You can see he has his hand right there. He has his ruin right there. And you can see like just the detail they have on this. I like the way they have his cape out like this, just flowing. And then the little details and designs that they have on the cape too. Right here you can see like he's wearing his blue. You can see the eye of Akimoto right there on him. But like I really like these two pops. It was hard to choose between which two of these ones. So I just decided to go ahead and put them together at number three. In case y'all were wondering what else I was actually going to choose. It was actually going to be the Man Bat from Batman the Anime Series. And that was exclusive to the 2017 San Diego Comic Con. Just a little quick view right here. Uh, let me just show you a quick view of it real quick. It's this one right here. That was actually a close one. But I just used it as an honorable mention. But let me go ahead and get on to number two. So at my number two pick, we have the uh, Harry Potter on Brew. This was from last year's San Diego Comic Con. And the funny thing about this one was... Like, this was really my top ones from last year also. But there's actually a nerd variant where Harry Potter does have his broom and he's in his Quidditch outfit. And, like, it's just him standing up, though. It's not like him on a broom. It just has him holding the broom, standing up. And I actually was about to get that one right before this one came out. And then when I heard that Funko announced this one, like, I decided not to get the other one and try to go for this one really did. Now... I was unable to get the first time around, whenever it first hit um, the stores, I think it came out at Barnes & Noble, I was unable to get it the first time around, but for like some miracle happened, 
And when I went to Barnes & Noble, like, I think it was about maybe two or three weeks after San Diego Comic-Con, I went to Barnes & Noble, and I just so happened to find this one, like, randomly on a book like on a bookshelf it was just randomly sitting there and like i saw it and like it i was surprised that it was there you know and let let alone it was actually in good condition too so like i hurried to the register and bought this one and like i was so happy that day like i was able to actually find it but this is number two and like let me go ahead and take out the box and show y'all so as you can see he comes does come with a stand right here you can see it's a clear stand and all you really do is just hook him on there. And he comes on there like that. Just like that. Now this is actually one of my favorite Harry Potters. In all of my Harry Potter collection. And like I really like the design of this. Just like the way he's just on his broom. It really like resembles what it looks like. When he's on and playing Quidditch. You can see right there he has like the golden snitch in his hands. He actually just has a fingertip on it. It's just connected by a fingertip. But like I really like this uh, pose. I like everything about it. I like the hair. The way it looks like it's like flowing in the wind. But yeah this is what I have at number two. Now let's get ready to show off number one. So at my number one pick. Is the Megazord. Now, I'm so happy I was able to get this one. I actually pre-ordered it. I think I believe I pre-ordered it on Entertainment Earth right before San Diego Comic-Con happened. Now, as soon as Funko announced this one, like, I was so happy. I, I was something I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm so glad they were able to make it. And, like, as soon as I heard they were coming out with it, like, I jumped on. I, like, kept track of when it was coming out. Like, where can I order it from? And I was finally able to pre-order on Entertainment Earth. And like it came in good condition. I was I was really happy that it came in good condition. And also made sure I got a protector for it too. It's in a protector right now. Now this is actually one of my favorites in all of my collection. This is like like is really up there, like one of the top favorites in my whole, my whole collection. Now, to tell you the truth, also, this is not actually the only Megazord I have. I do have this Megazord, I have the Metallic Megazord, and I actually just pre-ordered the Glow in the Dark Megazord yesterday. So after I get that glow in the dark one, I'll actually have all three Megazords. So here we got them out of box. And like you can actually tell like the Zords are here. I like how they had the, you know, you had the Tiger Zord right there. Saber 2 Tiger. Got the Triceratops. And like I like, I really like this one. Like, like I said before, it's really one of my top favorites in all of my collection. But like I really, I like, I just like this pop. Like, like it's like. You know, it's crazy. Like, I, I can't imagine not having it in my collection. Like, that's how much I like it. But these are my picks for the SDCC Funko Pop Challenge. Now, the next one we were supposed to pick was the one pop we regret missing out on. Now, looking back over the past, like, about two years, I've been collecting about a little more than two years now. Almost two, uh, almost two and a half years. So I was looking back at some San Diego Comic Con exclusives and like I was looking at them and really there was only about maybe five or six exclusives that I regret not like getting. Now they said we could only pick one. It was really a tough decision to pick only one. But like there was really three of them that like I regret so much missing out on. And it just so happens they all come from the world of Harry Potter. So the three that I regret passing up on is Luna Lovegood with her uh, spectacles, the alchemy, and also the three pack of like the creatures. It has like the Grindelo, the uh, Cornish Pixie, and the uh, Mandrake. Those three are like the biggest ones that I regret missing out on. Like nowadays it's kind of hard to get them now because like they're actually all priced pretty high. But like those were just like the top ones that like I just regret passing up on. I actually had a chance to try to get them. And like I actually thought that I might have a chance to get them later on. But seeing the price on them now is really like 
you know, it's just, it's kind of out of my price range right now. So, like, it's really, I really regret passing up on them. But that's, like, the entire San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pop Challenge. Got the picks, and I got the pops I regret passing up on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave links to, in the description below of the channels that actually start this challenge. It's Droob's Vids and the Whatnot Spot. I might leave some other links of other people that actually done the challenge. Now, we're actually supposed to nominate some people to do this challenge. Now, I was actually thinking about who I should nominate. And, like, there's been people that have been nominated already. So, I was thinking over of all the channels that I actually follow. So, I decided to come up with three nominations. So, I nominate Jetta Patrol, Pop Stop, and Nerd Therapy. So, we'll see if they do the challenge themselves. I'll leave links to, to their channels also to check them out. But that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you know when I post another video. You can check out some of my other videos that I have on my channel. I'm still trying to have a giveaway. But the only way we can have a giveaway is if we get more people to subscribe to the channel. The more people that subscribe, the faster we can have this giveaway. But that's all I got. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. And remember, be legendary. <laughs>